are using guys any guy any kind of tools. I'm a big fan of tools. Anyway, when we have a little rest time uh, after the practice, before the warm up, you're just using some tools, some teaching ads, just because to feel. Okay, this is the magic word for me that any kind of tools can help to feel what they have to do. My answer is yes, it could help. Still, it's not a magic thing, this one or the other one, doesn't matter, we're gonna use a couple. But these kind of tools can help to improve the player, to help them to feel what they have to do. Yes. Because so many times when we are coaching and we are giving advices to the player, we are not making sure that they are understand what they are trying to teach and then are they feeling what we are feeling. Because for me, it's very simple and, and, and very uh, comfortable situation to hit the ball in front and we can tell like, hit the ball in the front. But what does that mean for them? Uh, are, are they feel, are they know that the position that what we are trying to looking for for them? Not really so many times. You have to stay on Oh my god, why are they attacking me? Huh? You come? You should be here and learn how to chess up. <laughs> Moving with the horse. Okay, my friend. Just just make a photograph after and then let's think what's gonna be, what you're gonna do. You think this is this is the only thing which is matter for me. It's not doesn't matter what's gonna happen, I'm just thinking for 20 seconds more on tennis court. Perfect. Okay, let's do two different things. Okay, I, I have this one, it's a very simple. Uh, this is for baseball actually. But my opinion to understand how the volley works, to this position and then to step forward a little bit with this one is like Fantastic like this, only this one. Right hand with the left, elbow in front, upper body turn, keep it front and just step and move forward with this one. The point is that let the ball in and then step. Okay? What do you think in tennis? Let's talk about a volley for a minute. What is the good rhythm of the volley? Hitting and stepping at the same time? Step, step first and then hit? Or hit the ball and then step? What, what is the good rhythm for the kids? Same time. We're saying same time, like, like this. This one? This is same time, right? Same time. Ladies in the USA and gentlemen in the USA. Same time, right? Okay, who's telling like, hit first and then step? Hit first and then step? Yeah, that's the good. So for me with this tool, I try to help to feel, what, is my, what does that mean to volley? This is for me like, means like, move in and step, this one. Doesn't matter how many steps. This is what you have to do, try this one. This is your tool. Top screen will be yours. Okay, I'm a big fan of visualization. So when when we are when I'm using tools on court, I like to use the tool. We're normally using those kind of things in the realistic tennis. So if I do something for volley, I like to do close to the to close to the net and using any kind of teaching tool close to the net because we are working on volley, right? I see exercises and, and different kind of videos and they are doing things here what they are never do here on the match. Right? Okay. Other things. This is a brilliant thing. And then uh, I see so many coaches using the top speed roll like this. But we never hit any ball in that way. Or that way. So I prefer, and then using like, okay, let's do this. Okay? So I need one player over here who's running this.
Very simple. This one should be also in the warm up or any, any part of the practice. Still, we have one and two. Right? So when I say one, you have to move and you have to hit the forehand. Let's make sure you finish in the balance position and then recover. And when I say two, you have to hit backhand. When I say two, that means you have to switch and do the movement with your left. When I say one, you have to hit the forehand and you have to hit and do the same with the forehand. Okay? Make sure elbow in front. Okay? Elbow in front. Upper body turn. When you turn with the body, keep the ball here and let the ball go there. That's it. This is what I need. That kind of thing. Ready, guys? We have 10 shots. Okay, 10 shots. Two. One. One.
The contact went from 95 seconds go over to 115. Game just like if you go out to the soccer field to play in tennis. It's not, not fun to hit one goal and then just find the goals. Right? Okay, please grab your weapon, please keep up.